Welcome back to another basic Game Maker Studio tutorial and this time I'm gonna show you user events because they, you can do some interesting stuff with it so this is kind of specific uh, but it does have some uses and for example if you see that and well I don't know some other code pieces of another engine you see a user event and you're thinking what the hell is that well you have come to the right place this is one up indie I am the developer of the indie game clunky souls and a programmer slash pixel artist so if you're new new here and you want more consider subscribing to my channel because i upload every day a video and share my stuff if you can because that is giving me the boost of my life so what basically is an event and what can you well do with that so here let's go into our player and here all those things are events, the create, the step and so on, the standard ones. But here maybe you've seen this light bulb and then it says user event 0 and 1. And where can you find them? Under other, because you have the light bulb and then user events and then you can have 15 kinds of per object, which is kind of neat. And what you can do is just creating some specific cases. So my player just uses some move speed. So, for example, once we start, when we go to two fields, one is the ice field, for example, let's zoom in a little bit, then it becomes slow, and if you go to the boost field, we are on a very illegal substance, I guess, um, because we are faster than, well, we should be. So, how can you actually do that? So, once again, we... For example, what you can do, and this is just a case, a pretty, pretty actually you good user case is you're having, let's say, a collision with this boost field just in your player. And then what you do, you just say, hey, user, event user, and then you trigger this event. And then the same I do for the ice field. I say, hey, event user, and then you put in the number because this is one of those 16 cases you can put in. And here you find those here. For example, I just call it ice field. So description ice field. What I do, I just well, reduce my movement speed. And then I trigger an alarm to 30. And because we are triggering the thing all the time, for example, once we are all the time having the collision, and then the event is being triggered all the time, then, uh, well, we will be having all the time the movement speed of 0.5 and the alarm never goes down because it just resets all the time to 30. And for example, once we go out, then we trigger alarm zero. And this is just a reset. So let's go back to the original one. And then well, we do the same with the boost. So we just trigger, hey, event one. And this is the same, basically putting an alarm for a reset and then movement speed, just ramping it up. And then after, well, we leave the field we normalize it because we go into our alarm zero. And this is an interesting application field for that. And there are of course other events, so you can find them under generating events. And then you have event inherited. That is, well, basically a thing, for example, you are having, um, this is for example, another case because maybe you want to give something to your kind of children because this is the parent object in here. You just, hey, give to a plus and then we already have them and then these are the children and they are inheriting stuff so for here for example they are per default actually empty but here they inherit two things of course you can i don't know overwrite one but if you overwrite the stuff which you inherited is gone but maybe you want to take things from both spaces so once inheriting stuff so what you do you just say hey event inherited yep here we go and then you're taking the stuff from your parent and then of course you can put in your own stuff because maybe the parent has some general things but here are more specific ones or you just want to override them because well you want to use them anyway so this is the way how you do that event inherited is just saying hey take the stuff which i inherited but override it and do some more with it so these are the functions the other one is um, event perform and event perform object 
yeah not the biggest fan of that so here um, you can do some you can as you can see do a lot of things and you can kind of uh, trigger some events artificially yeah I'm not gonna go into that because for beginners I guess that stuff is not too uh, interesting because you can play around with this so here for example you can artificially press the W key even though maybe you're not pressing it on the keyboard yay um, if you like it do it I'm not gonna go into the detail the most important stuff is definitely uh, or are event inherited so for inheriting stuff and then not losing anything if you override it and then the cool user event and those two things are just do the event this artificial event in your object and this is like do it but do it on another object so you just jump to another one and then you trigger something yeah 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 that was pretty much it for today have a good one wanna be indeed